Hey everybody, I just wanted to post <clears throat> on YouTube a video about a letter I received from Dick Durbin. It came through email. Here it is. Um, about a month ago or so, I wrote him a letter voicing my concerns about the Trans-Pacific Trade Agreement that's being proposed right now in in the House of Representatives. I understand just yesterday it was, it was formally struck down, but um, from reading on CNN.com, Obama is looking to reinvigorate it and reintroduce it back into the either the House or Senate. They're trying to strategize, you know, what they're going to be doing. But anyway, here, here's the letter. You know, I wrote it not expecting a return from Dick Durbin. Um, I think mostly because I didn't think that because I, uh, you know, I haven't donated any money to his campaign anything like that, that he would not, you know, write me a letter. Perhaps it's a, a mass email, you know, to those people that wrote him about the concerns of the TPP. I don't know. It, uh, it does look like, in some ways, kind of a form letter, you know, written by his office. But either way, you know, I'm pretty satisfied by what we sent me. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, here's proof that, you know, you need to get involved in your politics you know, with your local senators and with your local congressmen, you know, to what extent I actually influenced him and his views, I, I don't know, I never will, you know, probably minuscule, but with me writing my concerns and perhaps, you know, hundreds if, if not thousands of other Americans in this district, you know, writing letters to Dick Durbin about their concerns too, perhaps that swayed, you know, how he voted actually. But anyway, here's a letter. Uh, and, and, you know, kudos to Dick Durbin for responding. Dear Mr. Zimbelman, thank you for contacting me about the Bipartisan Congressional Trade Priorities and Accountability Act of 2015. <laughs> That's a mouthful. Or the Fast Track Trade Promotion Authority legislation. I appreciate hearing from you and share your concerns. The TPA legislation would grant the administration authority to negotiate trade agreements as long as the negotiating objectives laid out by Congress have been met. Okay, um, but we don't know what those negotiation objectives are. I've been following this story on the news for the last 30 to 60 days and I haven't really seen much about what are the priorities for this trade bill. Um, and the reason for that is because it's a rather secretive trade bill, which Dick Durbin alludes to. Anyway, <clears throat> TPA would apply to any trade agreement negotiated before July of 2018, with a possible extension of authority to 2021. Under TPA, Congress would approve each agreement with a simple up or down vote and without the option of, to offer amendments. And that, you know, that's the real reason why I wrote that letter to Dick Durbin in the first place, because, you know, in America, we're about being free. You know, we're supposed to be open to what's going on in our country. Um, and when you have a trade agreement, as large and extensive as this one is going to be, and nobody knows the details, it's, it's anti-freedom, it's anti-information. Um... And it makes me suspicious as an American to know why something like this is being negotiated without the public really being given details or what the objectives are to it. You know, we're just being told that, oh, it's to uh, strengthen trade between other countries. Well, how does that happen? Um, you know, I look at NAFTA and we didn't necessarily get the results that America was hoping for with I don't know how many jobs ended up getting moved to Mexico and some South American countries, but it was significant, you know, and, and these are where my concerns are over some of these trade agreements is, is the details. You know, boy, I'm going to get on my high horse here. When was the last time America actually won a trade agreement? You know, we negotiate with China every year, it seems like, with getting more of our products into China, and it doesn't happen. <laughs> When was the last time you heard about Chevrolet sending, you know, 10,000 or 20,000 or 100,000 cars over to China to be sold? 
you know you just don't hear about stuff like that you know in Japan how many Japanese men and women are driving around Chrysler's it's not happening <laughs> open trade is on our end it's not necessarily on the other, these other countries end all right well, anyway back to this letter the whole reason why I'm here sorry okay TPA legislation would provide fast-track procedures for three trade agreements Trans-Pacific Partnership Agreement, the Transatlantic Trade, and Investment Partnership Agreement. And possibly, they might even add a fourth one on, Trade and Services Agreement. In total, these agreements would establish new trade agreements between the U.S. and 54 other countries. The details of each agreement have not been made public. In May of 2015, TPA passed the Senate by a vote of 62 to 37. Since we still have not seen, I'll start that sentence over. Since we still have not seen what is in the agreement, I did not vote in support of granting fast track authority. Good for you, Dick Durbin. I support fair trade, and I hope the final agreements will meet the negotiating objectives laid out by Congress. I wish you would have laid those out to me. That's a loud, loud car. All right. But I cannot support granting fast-track authority to three agreements when I don't know what they say. Hear, hear. TPA is currently awaiting consideration by the House of Representatives. I will keep, you, keep your concerns in mind as I continue to fight for fair trade agreements and grow our economy and increase jobs for working families in Illinois. Very pleased with this letter. You know, Dick Durbin tackled the issue head on you know what's in these agreements right now are not being shared in public fast track authority would not give congress or senate the, the ability to really look at what's being proposed and to make amendments to either include more stuff that was maybe missed and overlooked or to subtract items out of the bill that was that would just not make sense for people here in america so good job dick durbin keep up the hard work and God bless.